if I forget to charge it and I don't have music now, I don't know what to do. Which is so funny because, you know, I rode for years without it. Right. And it was, you know, with nothing but the wind noise of the engine. Right. And now I can't go without music. Yeah. Is it Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Dewey, and I am out today doing an actual moto vlog. That's right, I do not have a scenic destination set out to go give you the riding footage that you're used to me doing, which is really what I think my channel niche is and is going to be, is going out and doing the really scenic, really fun riding. There was a thread on a moto vlog forum that I'm on and the question was what sets your channel apart and really that was the thing that I can think of that sets my channel apart is because of where I live I can go ride to some locations that most people might not see in their lifetime otherwise and get to places off the beaten path that are stunningly beautiful and I'm gonna keep doing that and I actually have a couple of new videos that are filmed and ready to go already and I'm actually moving them back because of this video. I wanted to get out and film a moto vlog and just talk about some stuff here and I'm on a fun mission today. It's something that I normally wouldn't go do because I am not a Harley rider, but I have several followers who are Harley riders. And so today I am heading to some Harley Davidson dealerships so I can get some poker chips from the Portland Harley dealers. And we're gonna send them out to a couple of guys who have supported this channel and who have been phenomenally good at helping me to get the growth that I have. And we're gonna do that. But the real reason that I wanted to film an actual moto vlog and get on here and talk to it was I was absolutely blown away by the reaction to my last video where I did the waterfall tour through the Columbia Gorge. I honestly almost didn't even upload the video and then I almost didn't share it anywhere and just kind of let people find it if they found it because I really didn't know how it would go over with me spending so much time off of the motorcycle and talking because if I'm really honest, public speaking is not my strong suit and it's not something I particularly enjoy for that matter. But I went and made the video and I'm absolutely floored by the response that I got, the number of views that I got, the comments I got. It, it blew my mind. I have, for a little teeny channel like mine, I gained 12 subscribers in the week after I posted that video, which is just mind blowing because I started with, 20, with just about 30 subscribers when when I posted that so that's a, you know almost a 50% gain for me in subscribers off of one video so to all the new subscribers welcome and thank you so so much for actually choosing to watch my videos that means the world to me that there are strangers out there in the world that want to listen to me ramble and ride my motorcycle to different places so I I really wanted to get that out there and say welcome to everybody for the huge response that I got and it was a good learning experience to not be so critical of myself and to just make the videos that I think are going to be fun and you know even ones that I may not think are the best can turn into really good videos because of where I'm going. So that's the, that was really the first part I wanted to say and I'm you know it's from people all over the world. I'm gonna have to change my intro a little bit because now there's people in the UK, there's people in Australia, people in Argentina. So, you know, I don't know, maybe it's gonna have to be a, you know, the top of the morning and good day, mate, for everybody when I start my videos now that we're, uh, you know, have international people everywhere. But that's, that's a really great thing. So thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate it. So what we're gonna do is, I'm trying to find some back roads that are a little bit not just freeway to get to the dealer here. 
so we're going through going through some neighborhoods and some back roads but I wanted something that wasn't just boring freeway even though this is just a moto vlog riding around town and I'm not really going anywhere scenic I just couldn't bring myself to to getting on the super slab and doing that to get to the bid to get to the dealership so we're taking kind of a back road and we will pick it up when we get to the dealer So here you know we're getting close to a Harley dealer. There's a massive American flag. Sadly, they're flying the flags at half staff today because of the recent recent events here in the United States. But there is the dealer. Well, here we go to the Harley dealer. I don't know how this is going to go, you know. I didn't know anything about these poker chips until very recently. I have no idea if all dealers have them, I hope so. We're gonna find out, because I am kind of a fish out of water here at a Harley dealer. I really, uh... We're gonna go find out what the deal is, though. Part one of the mission was a complete success. So I have some poker chips. So what we're gonna do down here, I'm gonna go get some more and I picked up five of them and one of the sets is already claimed. But if you are a Harley guy or are interested in it and you want a set of poker chips from the dealers here in Portland, all you have to do is comment down below that you want one and I will send you a message or we'll find a way to hook up and get your address and I will send you a poker chip or two. I'm going to get on the freeway for this bit because there just is not a good way to get to the other dealer. I looked on a map and couldn't find one. So we're just going to slab it over. Um, but we're going to do the second part of what I really wanted to do on this video. And that is to give some shout outs to a couple of people who have been super cool with my channel. Um, the first one is John from Road Reality and I'm going to link his channel down below and if you get a chance go check out his stuff he really is it's a little Forrest Gump like in that it's it's a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get he does a lot of vlogs he does some destination rides he does how to's he does videos on video editing and how to do them he does a little bit of everything which makes it really interesting because you always get something new and so his channel is linked down there, and you can go check it out. And he is actually one of the people that I got the poker chips for. That's where the first set is going to. So John, I hope you enjoy those, and I hope that you got them soon if you haven't already. The other person I wanted to give a shout out to is 
Pete from Hippo Drones. He was, I think, one of my first subscribers, if not my very first subscriber, that wasn't a couple of my friends that I sent my channel to. And he has been awesome about watching every video, and he comments on almost every single one of them. I don't know if there's one that he hasn't commented on. And, mate, I seriously appreciate it. I appreciate the support. And I know that you do that for a whole lot of beginning moto vloggers and people getting going and you like helping people start out and it's super awesome and you deserve some credit for for doing that and i really really appreciate it and want to do a lets you know that it gets noticed i'm starting to think that getting on the freeway was not the right move i was not expecting this kind of traffic this is a real downer. Real exhilarating riding right here. I hope you are uh, quite compelled by this. A lot of bikes out today though. It's a beautiful day here in Portland. This is... We got pretty lucky. It's... I'm showing it's over 60 degrees right now. So phenomenal riding weather. This is just perfect. I don't need to layer up. I'm not cold. I'm not hot. Just out riding at 20 miles an hour on the freeway. And we are officially stopped. Oh, I really wish we had lane filtering here or lane splitting was legal and that would that would make things so much better. There's actually a a bill in the Oregon State House right now to legalize it in certain situations in certain places. It's not a free-for-all, but it's a start, so I really I'd be quite happy if that passed. It's starting to take off in a few places here in the states. It's been limited to just California forever, but recently Montana and Utah both passed some sort of lane splitting or lane filtering bill. So now there's three states where you can at least in certain situations do it. So hopefully, hopefully Oregon gets it together and we can be the fourth state. I know Washington has one too, so Washington may beat it to us. That's the way things normally work is Oregon does whatever California and Washington have already done. All right, here we are almost to the to the second Harley dealer, I think. This is where it's at. This is probably a bad idea. Yeah, here it is. So here we are at Paradise Harley. So we were going to go in and see what's going on. They got a bunch of people camped out here, too. They got a lot of people out here. that is it for this vlog once again thank you so much everybody and go check out hippo drones and road reality on youtube those guys deserve it they're super nice guys and until next time it's dewey out